This screencast is based on Module 5, Lesson 3, the practice set primarily, although we do go over one of the homework problems to give you a little extra help. And this lesson we compose and decompose right right rectangular prisms using layers. Okay, what we're going to do is take these, this uh, rectangular prism and decompose it, or take it apart in two different ways using layers. We can do each one of these three different ways. We can look at the bottom layer with the top layer. That's one way. We can look at the front layer and the back layer. And then we can go from the sides. So we have these layers here. Let's start with top and bottom. So we're going to take our blank model and we're going to divide it into a top and a bottom. Now if we look at how much we have on each layer, I have 6 by 2. So that means there's 12 on each layer. Going to our diagram here, or our chart, I have how many layers? 2. How many in each layer? 12. What's my total volume? Well, 2 layers of 12 is 24, so 24 cubic centimeters. We'll do the next one uh, front and back. And if we count the front layer, we have 12, and the back is the same. So I could say there's 12 and 12. Again, how many layers do I have? I have two. There are 12 in each layer, and two layers of 12 is 24. Now we're going to go from side to side. And let's just take a look at that original. Again, we have one, two, three, four, five, six sections here. So I'm going to draw five lines to make six partitions. Not quite even, but there we have, we have six partitions. And if I look on my view from side to side, I see that I have four. So each one of these is a group of four. So we'll label this four. And I have how many layers? Let's count them. One, two, three, four, five, six. We'll put six in our chart. There's four in each layer. Six uh, layers with four is 24. And you may notice that these answers are all the same, and they should turn out to be the same. Let's look at another example. Okay, again, we can look at this bottom to top or top to bottom. We can go uh, side to side this way. We can look at the other dimension going this way. Let's do uh, top to bottom or bottom to top. So we have three layers. How many do we have in each layer? Well, I see that I have four going this way and two going this way. So each layer has eight. So how many layers do I have? I have three. There is eight in each layer. Three layers of eight would be 24. Let's now go from the front to the back. So I have one, two, three, four. So we'll draw in our lines. And how many do we have in each layer? Let's look at that front. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, or two by three is six. So now we can label each one of those layers as having six. We have four layers, six in each layer, 24 cubic centimeters. Now we'll go uh, splitting it from side to side. And we have, if we look at our original diagram, we have one, two, So we'll split it this way. Now how many do we have on each of these layers? Well, I have 3 by 4. If I counted them, that would be 12. So I have 12 in each layer. 
how many layers? 2. How many in each layer? 12. And 2 layers of 12 is 24. All right, let's look at this word problem from the practice set. Joss and Jonah were finding the volume of the prism to the right. The boys agree that four layers can be added together to find the volume. Josh says that he can see on the end of the prism that each layer will have 16 cubes in it. Jonah says that each layer has 24 cubes in it. Who is right? Explain how you know by using words, numbers, or pictures. Well, if we look at the shape here, we can see that we can have uh, this divided in a number of ways. And if we want to talk about four layers, we can go this way. Okay, and how many are in each layer? Well, one, two, three, four. We have four by six. That would be 24 in each layer. So if we looked at our shape here and kind of drew it out the way that we did in the previous problems, we would have four layers of 24. We could also look at it another way. We could go uh, this way, go front to back. So I have one, two, three, four. Once again, let's look at that front. Again, we have six by four, that's 24. So I could draw it this way as well. A little crowded, but we'll get by. And we'll have And each one of these layers will have 24. I don't have the room to fit that in sideways, but you get the idea. I could have 24, 24, 24, 24. Now, 16, where does that come into play? Well, we have uh, another view here where we can look at it this way. And indeed, we have layers with 16 because I can look at it as 4 by 4 and that's 16 and we can draw it this way. And we'd have and 16 in each layer. But how many layers is this one in green? This is not four layers. We actually have six layers of 16. In the other models, we have four layers of 24, whether we use the one going from top to bottom or back to front. So who's right? Well, if we're going to go with the idea of four layers, we have to have 24. We can either use that going from top to bottom front to back. But if we go with 16, we have to have six layers. Okay, so this is from homework. I'll give you some guidance here. Stephen and Chelsea want to increase the volume of this prism by 72 centimeters. Chelsea wants to add eight layers, and Stephen says they only need to add four layers. Their teacher tells them they are both correct. Explain how this is possible. We're going to decompose this uh, rectangular prism in three different ways and uh, I think that should make it kind of obvious what's going on here. So again I can go from bottom to top or top to bottom and I have three layers and each one of these layers is one two three by one two three four five six so again I have three layers of three times six is eighteen. Let's draw a model. And we have layers going from top to bottom with 18 each. And we could build more layers of 18 to get to 72, and we'll see how many layers we need to do. We could also go uh, from front to back. And again, if I look at that, I have three, a six by three, that's 18 once again.
quickly sketching three layers and again 18 per layer and we could build these layers out going uh, from front or to the back uh, 18 each and see how many more layers we need to get to that number of 72. Finally we can go from side to side and I have one two three four five and six layers okay and each one of those if I look at the end I see has three by three that's nine so we'll now draw that get my correct tool here and we'll draw it from side to side and as we mentioned each layer has nine and again we can build that out going uh, from the sides and see how many of these layers we need to get to make 72 uh, you could use these diagrams, uh, but you're also going to have to use some words to explain what's going on here. But I think that I've given you enough information to give you a pretty good idea on how to answer this question.